Hello everybody, Alex here from WPEagle.com. Um, sorry I haven't shaved this morning, but I thought what the hell, I'm just gonna make a video with a bit of a uh, bit of stubble. But anyway, um, so yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be, uh, I've got a job to do basically this morning. I need to move um, a client site from a testing area to um, the live site. So I need to basically move the whole um, WordPress installation and everything and then I need to change the domain name across the whole site. Now, this can be quite a daunting um, thing to do if you're not sure what you're doing. Um, but I found a plugin that actually takes a lot of the heavy lifting away from you, so you don't have to go in and do find and replaces and stuff within your database or any of that stuff, which can you know break things. Uh, it does it all for you. And yeah, well, let's get on with it. Let's move this site here. So here we are. This is the site I want to move. It's on bccio.alexdigital.com, which is my staging area. I need to move it to their live domain, which is um, bcco.org.uk. So at the moment, I've uh, it's on this hosting. I've got the new hosting set up. I've got the details there. Okay, so let's get started. I've installed a, to move a site, I've installed a plugin called um, Duplicator. So I'm logged here into the back end. We're in version 3.8. Uh, so uh, the new look, only just updated. But So just getting used to it, but I, I really like it. And you can find the plugin on the um, plugin WordPress plugin store. Just go to plugins and add new and do a search for duplicator. Okay, so if you click on here, um, this is the main thing. And basically what we're gonna do is create a package that we can download from this site and then we can upload it to the new site, run the package and it you know it does it all for us. So the first thing you need to do is create a package. Now, you can check your server's compatibility to make sure that everything's green and it will work, which is good, my one will. And then you just click this button. Uh, give it a name. That's quite a long name. Let's just take the end off there. And let's create. So that's going to go off and um, and do its thing. There we go. Okay, so um, the package has been created. Here it is. Um, that didn't take too long, though I did obviously just edit that bit because it was dragging on a little bit. But we're done now, so... Um, now we just need to download everything. So uh, there's two files to download. The first one is the installer. So I'm gonna download that to my computer. So clicking that, and it brings up where you wanna save. Obviously you put it somewhere that you're gonna know where to find it. I'm gonna create a new folder here called BCCO site move. Okay, and I'm gonna download the package, which is the kind of the bulk of it, all the site data again. So that's downloading. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna upload these files over to the new site. So um, let's just have a edit and I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. Um, okay, so the next step is we need to upload those files to our new website. So I've just logged in via FTP. Um, to the new hosting and um, there's obviously nothing in here at the moment. So I'm using on my Mac a client called Fetch but you can obviously use any of your preferred FTP clients um, just to upload the files. So we need to upload it into the, obviously the public underscore HTML file because there's not much in there at the moment. Sometimes your hosting gives you default stuff. I like to kind of just delete that because we don't need it. So nice and empty, nothing in there. So we're gonna upload those two files that we've just downloaded from the old site via the duplicator don't know why I have to say it in an American style duplicator plugin, uh, duplicator. Um, so I'm gonna find those files that I downloaded. Um, I put them in Alex and I and in here and here they are. I've got such a messy computer. And that's uploading and that's gonna take a little bit of time. So again, while that's doing that, go make yourself a cup of tea. Well, I'll make myself a cup of tea. You don't need to make a cup of tea because I'm just gonna wipe. Okay, uh, welcome back again. Um, actually, you didn't go anywhere. I, it's been, some time has passed, actually, since uh, the last bit. But hey, it, this is the wonder of video. You need to know this. Anyway, everything's uploaded, and I, so I'm now looking at the uh, where I want to put the site, um, which is on the live domain, and I can see the two files. That's all I can see when I browse here uh, in my browser. And what you need to do now is, or what I need to do, is run the installer. So if I could just click it, that should get it going. Uh, it's going to ask for some details and these are your database details your mysql server details and you get these from your host um, you'll need to log into your host um, your cpanel or whatever control panel you've got and create a database and then you need to put those details 
uh, in here and obviously this is the, the new uh, server wherever you're moving the site to. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to type these in. Um, I'm probably going to blur this because um, I don't know a nasty hacker or something might come and um, take them. So I'm just going to type these in. Um, in fact, this is going to take a few minutes. So let's. I'm going to have to edit it again. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I've entered all the details. I'm now going to just click this button to test they're all okay. And yay, they're all fine. So um, I can close that. There's a load of whole warnings there you can read if you want. Let's just hope it's all okay. Uh, I don't often go into any of these um, advanced options, so you probably won't need to either. So let's just run the deployment and see what happens. Another warning. Um, but it doesn't matter. Let's just go. So it's going to take a few minutes. Um, so I'll just wait for this to happen and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're all done. So the next step is to update the um, the old settings. So any old links that are pointing to the old uh, URL need to be updated to point to the new URL. So it just asks to double check um, the old URL and the new URL. It all seems to be okay. It seems to have worked it all out for itself. Um, and if you want, you can create a new admin account with this option. Um, and there's some other stuff here in the advanced options again, which I suggest you don't worry about. Just click run update. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, there was no errors or anything, so that's great. And now there's a few little things that you just have to work through here. So the first thing is we need to update our um, HT access file, file, which is basically you, you resave the permalinks uh, within WordPress. So um, let's go across to the site. So I'm just going to I'm just going to copy this and and uh, oh, we've already got it here. Look, just to prove it's here. Look on the new domain. Great. I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. And then down in settings and permalinks, you just need to resave this. So um, it's currently on post name. I'm just going to click on custom structure because it's the same as post name. And then I'm going to go back to post name and just click save changes. That should be fine. If we go back to the website, let's just check that these links work. Yep. Okay, so that's the first step. Tick. Second one we need to delete our install of files. This is for security. So. Um, the best way to probably do this is with your um, FTP client. Um, but you can just click this link. Let's see if that works. Yay, it's worked. So all done. Uh, alternatively, as I say, you can use your FTP client. So I think um, we're all done. Uh, just obviously make sure that you, everything's working, thoroughly tested all. But there we go. All done. Hope you found the video useful. Good luck moving your sites. Um, and if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Subscribe for more videos. See you soon.